season officially began last Friday, and we're already on the watch with it all. Day three of the long hurricane season, and we have already had our first storm, Barry, which is now nothing more than just heavy rain in North Carolina, Virginia, and Maryland. But, of course, this is the kind of stuff that... Hurricanes and storms can leave behind a lot of blue roofs, and the season runs all the way through November in southeast Texans, not taking anything for granted. For residents in Nederland and Groves, they are on guard, and especially for those who are still living in trailers. Uh, as you can see, it was uh, damaged by a tornado. It uh, uprooted a pecan tree in our backyard, and it uh, uh, took out two walls of our house, and and uh, uh, the percentage of the uh, shingles and it rained in and it destroyed everything in our house. And uh, we've been in a FEMA trailer ever since the storm and uh, we're just waiting on uh, uh, the uh, uh, organization to uh, build us a new home. I'm still having a lot of emotional problems since we lost our house and our Hurricane Rita and living in a FEMA trailer, it really puts a lot of emotions you know, um, people try to understand what you're going through, but they really can't unless they've gone through it. When you lose your home and everything that you're on, you just, it's hard not to have emotional problems. Yes, we, you know, uh, gathered our stuff up and we're ready if we have to evacuate to, to leave. And uh, we have some place uh, up north that we can stay. I can't even deal with the word hurricane anymore. I mean, used to, it never bothered me. We just evacuated, came home, everything's cool. But since Hurricane Rita came and took our home and everything that we're on, it's, it's kind of hard to even prepare for a hurricane. And, of course, these are images that are very, very hard to forget. And the people of Sabine Pass also know all too well the destructive power of a hurricane. Plenty of evidence remains there. Blue tarps, lots of construction, and those FEMA trailers. The folks in Sabine Pass we spoke with say they aren't taking any chances this time around. 